we made it through the first month of 2018. But how did the real estate market do for the first month of the year? I am going to tell you all about the Toronto, the GTA, and the Caledon real estate market, a review of the month, and the outlook for 2018. Stay tuned. So our first month of the year is now complete. Where do we stand with the real estate market? I'm Catherine Lucadu, broker at the Property Gallery, and I am here with the month of January in review and to give you an outlook for the Toronto, the GTA, and the Caledon real estate market. So let's get started with a review of what's been going on basically from the Toronto Real Estate Board in the Toronto markets. Now here is what is very interesting. The average price at the end of 2017 for a home in Toronto is now 1.23 million. And what's very fascinating is that 50% of the supply and the sales of 2017 were for properties 2 million plus in value. Now, I don't know if you realized that the prices had escalated that much in 2017, but lo and behold, they really have. So what does that mean for the rest of the market? So if that is the cost of what it is to get into the average home in Toronto, it is no wonder that people have been um, flocking to the condos that have been for sale. Because if you have an average budget of between 600 and 700,000, then it's definitely the condo market that would be your most affordable. And so that is why the condo market has absolutely been booming and they are expecting another great year for condos. Now, what does that mean for the detached homes? It simply means that the sales have slowed. Uh, prices have not dropped. They are still increasing at about a 5% rate but the amount of people or the affordability rate for a detached home in Toronto right now has definitely decreased because of its prices. Now, how has that affected the GTA and the Caledon areas? Well, we tend to see the same trend. So whatever happens in Toronto tends to happen in the GTA and Caledon areas as well. So that is where I'd like to start with our Bolton price um, our Bolton prices. So last year, let's look at the townhomes. Last year, townhomes had an average price of about 540,000 for January 2017. This year, we are looking at 595,000 as an average. Last year, our semis had a $606,000 value. This year, in January, we were at 630,000. Our three bedroom detached homes were at around the 700,000 mark last year. This year, we are looking at 737,000. And the four bedroom detached homes were at an average of about 862,000 um, in 2017, January. This year, we're looking at around 820. And the only reason for this uh, dip in price would be because of the size of the homes that were being sold last month. So even though we know that they were four bedroom homes, square footage, as you know, definitely plays an important role. So these particular four bedroom homes that sold were on the lower end of the square footage. So in and around that sort of 2000 to 2200. So not to worry if you are living in a four bedroom home in Bolton, your price, the value really hasn't dropped. It just simply means that you may be in a different category from the houses that sold last month. If you are worried or are concerned about what the value of your home is today, give me a call. I am always available. My number is 416-550-3644 and I'd be happy to give you an accurate uh, home evaluation. So let's look at the rest of the Caledon area and then I'm going to be doing the outlook for 2018. 
So the rest of the Caledon area, we have an average of 605,000 for townhomes in 2017, January. This year, we had an, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I'm standing on the snow and I seem to be going in every once in a while. So um, townhomes this year in January in Caledon, 626,000. The semi-detached homes, 647,000 average value last January. This year, 689. Last year, three bedroom detached homes had an average value of 966,000. And this year we are at 830,000 again for the exact same reason the prices have dipped for last month and we are looking at size of homes that have sold it does not mean your home has dropped a hundred thousand dollars in value it just simply means that the four homes that sold last month were of smaller square footage and smaller homes than what had previously sold last January and Four bedroom detached homes had an average value of 1100 last year and we are at 1110000 this year. So almost on par, but again, it just depends on the type of property that happened to be sold last month as opposed to a year ago. Now something to remember and keep in mind is a year ago January, we had our multiple offer situation going on houses were selling if i look here at an average of 103 percent of their list price this year on average it appears that they're selling at about 97 percent of their list price yet the majority of the prices have still increased by five percent we are doing very well it is healthy so that brings me to the outlook now according to the Toronto Real Estate Board and according to the trends that I myself have been seeing after doing this for two years every month, we see all the prices have been growing at a moderate healthy rate of about 5%. It appears that we've had a slow start to the year. Simply, we you know, well, the weather is always a factor and the new mortgage rules also come into play however if you have been thinking that this is your year to sell your home or this is the year that you are going to go out and purchase a new home not to worry because the buyers are now out i've had a lot of phone calls and requests to see properties to get information because if you remember we're three months behind from when we actually want to move. So is, if February is the month that you would like to purchase a home, you're actually not gonna be moving into that home until April, May, June. So it really is a great time. If you'd like to move into the springtime, now is the time to start looking and there are, there are plenty of homes coming out on the market right now. I would like to give a little bit of information um, about the Vaughn subway because we know that that was a, a wonderful thing that's come in not very far from uh, the Caledon area and since the Vaughn subway has gone in the prices in that particular area have increased already so with only about let's say two months since we've actually seen the opening of the subway prices have already started going up so that's great if you happen to get into that neighborhood or if you're thinking that you may like to move into that neighborhood it's a good idea because the prices are increasing so overall once again we have a positive outlook for 2018 prices are increasing at about five percent and this appears to be the trend for the rest of the year Things are picking up because the phones are ringing and people are out looking for properties and they're searching online. If you would like information about the price of your home so that you know how to go ahead into 2018, give me a call. I am here to help you. 416-550-3644. You can go onto my website to visit all the homes that are currently for sale and it is updated actually about three times a day so that's www.yourdreamproperty.ca have a fantastic month of february and i will see you next month with the latest update on the real estate market have a great month